here's how to make shapes fade out or how to make shapes fade in or how to do the same things with sprites as you can see here. So we'll start with a blank project in Game Lab and just go to the drawing area and pick out a shape. So we'll just start with an ellipse and then you want to fill it with a color above and then you want to fill the fill here with the RGB block so that we can choose a color based on these numbers. All right, so that's the red, that's the blue, that's your green and blue. RGBs. And then the next thing you want to do is hit this little right arrow so that you can get a fourth blank. And this blank is the alpha. And this parameter here is going to go from 0 to 1, 0 being transparent and 1 being completely opaque. So for now, let's just put a 0 0.5. So that you can see that. See how it's a little more transparent. If you put like a point one in here, it'd be really faded out. Okay, so we're going to be changing this value to make things fade in and out. So let's make a variable to hold it and we'll call it fade. And to start, we'll just set it to one. And then right here, instead of a number, we'll just put that value. Since we want things to change, we need to draw a loop in here. And we'll actually be drawing right there. Okay, now we need to increment that by saying every time the draw loop spins through, fade equals fade minus. And since we're only going from 1 to 0, we need a very small amount, like maybe 0 0.03. And then we need a background in here to cover up all the previous ones, and let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's pretty good. This black line is your stroke, so if you want that to go away, you can throw a no stroke in there. Okay, now you could, let's put this fill at the top. You could switch the colors here by just making that one a zero and another one a 255. Same thing, you can play with those any way you want to. Um, now you might want it to fade in and out at different speeds, so why don't we make another variable up here called fade speed. We'll start it at 0.03. And right here we'll put fade speed. Make sure we didn't break anything. Now if you wanted it to go faster or slower, you could just change this number and not have to dig deep into the code. That's twice as fast, and then we could do quite a bit slower. Alright, so then if you want to go in the opposite direction and you want things to start uh, invisible and then suddenly appear, uh, then we can just wiggle a few things around. First of all, we're going to want to make this minus into a plus, so let's switch into text mode. And so now we're going to increment the value of speed instead of subtracting from it. And we want our initial value to be zero, where we're going to work our way up to one. We'll put this back at that medium speed. All right, let's try that. Now, did you notice that weird jump at the beginning? I think it's having trouble with a zero is a starting value, so we can just do 0 0.00001, fix that problem. So now we can fade in, or we can fade in a little slower, just like that. Now the only thing left to do is if we want to do that with sprites. And I went ahead and picked up this sun sprite, but you can pick your own by clicking that plus, choosing anything you'd like. Uh, I'm going to write some code to put him on the screen. So I'm going to call him Sun, and I need to draw sprites over here in the loop. Let's get rid of the ellipse for now, so we just have our Sun. Uh, we can start him faded out and make him show up using the same value of fade and fade speed, but we're going to come over here to sprites and get a sprite.alpha to make that work. So it has its own block built in. We're going to say sun.alpha equals fade. All right. So that will make him appear. And then just like we did before, if we start the fade at 1 and change this plus to a minus, then we can make him start appearing and fade away. That's how you do it.